Hello, this is Darren Roberts, Master Trainer at Impact Training Corporation and the Abundance Accelerant. Welcome to the Tuesday Tickle and Tick, show number one of the Tuesday Tickle and Tick. I've done some videos leading up to today, but this is officially show number one of the Tuesday Tickle and Tick, all about what tickles our fancy. So from what we've used or learned before that we can pass on to other people, and maybe what ticks us off that we can all fix to help us live to our potential, both in business and in our relationships and lifestyle as well. Today is episode number one, which is an eye for an eye. When do we have to replace our focus on an iPad or an iPhone and have more of a focus on eye contact and being aware of what is happening around us? I've got four learnings from a real life experience that happened just last week. Just last week, I was fortunate enough to spend a couple of days in Sydney at the Channel 10 studios doing a TV show, which is pretty exciting. And when we first walked in, we were led straight to the green room. And there was about 20 or so people that were gonna be on the show. And in the green room, everyone was pretty nervous. There wasn't a lot of chatter going on. You could tell everyone was a little bit anxious about what was gonna happen that day. But shortly after that, one of the staff members from Channel 10 came down into the green room. And she started to form little groups and have conversations with the people that were gonna be on the show. Now, the first thing she did really well was obviously was pre-planned. She had information from our interests and stories we told her previously that she used to start a conversation with us. So she said, oh, listen, I noticed that you had this experience. Tell me more about it. And that allowed everyone to talk authentically, the barriers to drop, build a connection to be able to communicate with her. But she did more than that. And actually, David, who I was there with, who is an entrepreneur and a business person in his own right, said, Darren, can you see what she's doing? She's not only holding a conversation, but she's putting her own experiences back into that conversation to build mutual commonality. And that's exactly what she did. She had a plan of how she was going to introduce a conversation, but then she put herself into that conversation so that the person that she was talking to felt that they were similar. We know that people like people like themselves, which is exactly what she was doing. So suddenly the atmosphere of the room was very relaxed. Everyone was communicating with each other effectively. And then we went upstairs to shoot the show. Cameras are on, live audience. And she had obviously shared the information that she gathered in the morning to the host of the show. And when the host introduced himself with the cameras going, the live audience there, he asked, us to elaborate on the stories. Oh, listen, I noticed you've done this. Can you tell me more about it? And because we'd shared that story in the morning a couple of times, those of us on the show were really comfortable having that conversation again. And we forgot about the cameras and the audience and the lights and we felt like we were talking to a friend. So what can we learn out of that through a business meeting, our sales, best practice, or even communicating socially with people that we don't know? Well, there's four things that we learned. Firstly, have a plan and be prepared. If you're gonna go into a business meeting or a sales meeting or a sales presentation, know a bit about your prospect, know about a bit, a bit about the people that you're presenting to. What are some of the things you can remember from previous conversations with them which you can bring up to start a conversation? If it's a social environment, but have a plan. What are your introduction statements or sentences or questions gonna be? And we call it ALF, A-L-F, ask a question, Listen to the answer. As you're listening to that answer, formulate your next question and ask it, and then the conversation keeps flowing. Number two is to build mutual commonality. People like people like themselves. So make sure once that conversation is flowing, find a point where you can add in your own experiences so that there's a connection where you're similar. People like people like themselves. The third thing is to reuse that information. So if you're gonna introduce them to someone else, then use the information that you've gathered, a story, their interest, whatever the case might be, rather than just saying, this is the person, this is their title, introduce some of the other information and then the conversation is gonna to continue to flow from there. And the fourth thing is practice. Perfect practice makes perfect. We know when we had told that story a couple of times in the morning, when we did it with the cameras going and in front of a live studio audience, we were comfortable because we told that story in the morning. We felt like we had just done it. So same with us in sales, in business communication and socially, make sure we've practiced our sales best practice. Make sure we've practiced the stories that we're gonna tell because then it comes across naturally and authentically. 
So there's four things that you can take away and put both in your sales, your business, and in your social interaction, meeting lots of new people and making great first impressions. So the timer is just about to finish off. Our time is done for episode number one. I will look forward to chatting again next Tuesday. Bye.